Hi, it's James and this is 3 to 1 Generation. Last episode of this series and this week we are changing feet and fainting like Tom Finney. From the off, outside cuts. Here we go. So the rhythm that we're looking for is step, step, side step, touch. So the side step needs a bit longer time because it's a bigger step. So there's a slight change there. So it's quick, quick, slow, touch. That's what we're looking for from the rhythm. Too easy, work on the speed of your feet. So how many can you do? Try 60 seconds. Too hard, take two touches, not one. Some people call these outside cuts. It's more of a gentle touch with the outside of your foot. You need to be flexing the knees for this so I can get my centre of gravity low and then I can use that spring to help me move quickly. I'm trying to think in the future here. So I'm adjusting my perception to look at the area I want to move into before I've contacted the ball. But as I get more confident, I start to hold the gaze. So you'll see now, can I keep looking that way? Can I send the defender that way before I take that touch back? Eyes for disguise. Now let's have a look at the footwork. Sometimes you see players training, going through ladders to get that lateral foot movement. This is another way of doing it, just with a ball. Can you see how and why that side step is longer, but we're still keeping the control? So, why do it? Gary Lineker said about Tom Finney, he's the best two-footed player that's ever lived. Matt Busby was coaching at the time that Finney was playing, and Busby said, if you were a problem to him, he had two solutions to you. So this is all about working both feet with quality so you can go either way. Let's mix it up, different way of doing it now. Inside, outsides, still the same outcome. Here we go. It might look like a different skill. All we're doing is adding a touch before the side step. So don't let it disturb your rhythm. It's now step, step, touch, side step, touch. Here we have that luxury of the extra touch. Helps us to balance. Also keeps the ball within my internal zone of balance. So just brings it back level with my shoulder, meaning that as I do the side step, I can always get there. Really try and get around the ball with the outside of your foot. Here we see the side step gives you that pause and the time to allow you to do that, as well as the disguise. Some healthy, fundamental, technical football questions in this skill. When do I go quick? When do I go slow? What weight of touch? What part of foot? To what effect? Where would you want the opponent? A metre and a half away, maybe? When Ferenc Pushkas was asked about the England team that Hungary had comprehensively beaten home and away in the 50s, he said, I liked Finney. He is ready for every situation. With this skill, remember the first touch is with the same foot that you made the outside cut with. So it's outside cut and then it's inside touch. Third 
wide variation of changing feet, contacting the ball with the outsides of our feet. Outside touch step overs. So that was real speed. Remember, nothing's ever sped up on here. We're going to slow it down now. Step, step over, step touch. The second step, if you're really confident, you might want to exaggerate, make it into a proper side step. This could disturb your rhythm though. So I found I got more rhythm if I didn't exaggerate that. So step, step over, so the step over is my feint. So the second step is just a normal step for me. If you're really confident, you can add that exaggeration. Of course, another way of creating exaggeration can be dropping a shoulder, can be using the eyes. Here we've got the lower body facing one way and then readjusting the upper body. We want relatively stable for the next action. Of course, you can use arms for deception as well. Just be careful not to destabilize yourself when doing so. So again here, as with all these skills, there's no kicking. It's a gentle push as my body springs back. So that's the last in this series of six. Check back through the other episodes. There's plenty of skills for you to be getting on with. Now remember, you can sequence them as you want. So you can put a skill next to another skill. You can also build them into a physical pattern that suits you. So it might be how many touches can you get, like I said, with this first skill this week in 60 seconds. That's quite tough. So can your second 30 be as quick as the first 30? But in some other weeks when the skills have been slower, it might be that you just work in 30 second blocks and look for quality. In some, like the fourth episode, the skill was quite advanced. It might just be how many can you do and can you keep that fluidity. This week, Tom Finney, changing feet, fainting, a player that Bill Shankly said was crafty, quick and elusive. He could beat you on either side without breaking stride. Can you play like Tom Finney? Try these skills out. See you soon.